Hello knowledge seekers, I am Showman with Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. In my channel, I have discussed before one video completely related to valve that is basically to highlight how to select a valve for the purpose of use. Let's say for isolation, we will select the ball valve or gate valve. To add on that series, today we will be discussing hydrostatic testing to prove the valve integrity. So let us start. For valve testing, we have few basic international codes and standards, which are API standard 598 for valve inspection and testing, API standard 600 for steel gate valve, API standard 594 for check valve, API 608 for ball valve, 609 for butterfly valve, RP 621 for valve repair, ASME 16.34 for flanged threaded and welding end valve. So these are all very popular standards I have mentioned, but there are a lot of other standard country wise, which are being followed for particular countries. API 598 valve inspection and testing. As per API 598, the valve pressure test generally are of four types. Shell test, which is also termed as body test, back seat test, low pressure closure test, and high pressure closure test. Closure test is also termed as seat test. Requirement of each pressure test is varied by types of valve, size, and flange rating. Shell test, which is also termed as body test. The valve is partially opened and valve's ends completely closed. Not a single valve component shall be removed. The valve body shall be completely filled with test fluid and then pressure will be applied for the test the body or shell has any leakage or not. Back seat test. The valve is fully opened and valve ends completely closed. Gland packing shall be either loosened or removed. The valve body shall be completely filled with test fluid. Low pressure closer or low pressure seat test. The valve is fully closed with one end subjected for testing and the other end open for direction of leakage. Not a single valve component shall be removed. Both ends shall be subjected for testing. So you can see in the picture, a seat is closed and water or hydro test fluid is filled. It is, meant, it is mentioned in blue color. And then from the other side, we need to see if there is any leakage or not. High pressure closer, same as low pressure closer, except that in case of a liquid test, leakage shall be detected when drops, not bubbles. Both ends shall be subjected for testing. As per API 598, you can see the table number one, where the pressure test required or not required is clearly mentioned. For the valves diameter, less than 4 inch and ASME class less than 1500 and less and diameter DN more than 4 inch and ASME class less than equal to 600. This table is applicable. You can see the backseat test is not required for plug valve, check valve, floating ball and butterfly trunnion mounted ball valve. Low pressure test is optional for globe valve and check valve High pressure closer is optional for gate valve, plug valve, floating ball valve, and butterfly and trunnion mounted ball valve. This is table number two. If you need to know, you can stop the video and you can take a snap for this. And you can also check this is a similar, similar table. The test pressure, it is mentioned in table number three. The shell test pressure or body test pressure. I am just reading one for you. For example, NPS 2 to 12 inch. If the class is 125, then the shell test pressure minimum should be 25 bar, which is 350 PSI. For other material, the test pressure shall be 1.5 times of the working pressure varying by class. 
ask me b 16.34 what will be the test fluid for the valve hydro test the test fluid shall be done with water or with other suitable fluid for testing of austenitic stainless steel valves water with chlorine content not exceeded 30 ppm in some standard it is also 50 The table number 5 for API 598 is depicting us the duration of test pressure. I will read one for you. Less than 2 inch diameter valve shell test duration is 15 seconds. For valves with back seat feature is also 15 seconds. Closer check valves API 594 is 60 seconds and closer for other valves are 15 seconds. acceptance criteria the valve shall be visually examined for leakage after it has been fully prepared and is under full test pressure no leakage or pressure drop acceptable for valves with adjustable stem seals leakage through the stem seals and stem packing shall not be cause any rejection allowable leakage rate the following table shows the maximum allowable leakage rates for closer test that means seat test the valve size less than 2 inch is zero drops per minute acceptable that means no leaks are ac- acceptable for 2 inch for example 10 inch 20 drops per minute is acceptable whereas for 48 inch 96 drops per minute are acceptable so i have discussed the basic valve types and the test procedures their acceptance criteria the duration of the test as per api 598 thanks for watching if you like the way of teaching please share and subscribe my video signing off showman